Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 6 server. I hope you guys are all doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Today's episode 63 and I've got a great episode planned for you. Today we're going to be working on the bottom of the ravine, finishing up all of those details so we can start building our apartments. I'm going to give you some updates on the spawner because I know you guys hate that thing. <laughs> and a lot more fun stuff. So question of the day for today. You're allowed to add one new tool to Minecraft. What do you add and why? So I'm thinking like modded, right? They have like scythes and hammers and stuff. What type of tool would you like to add? Let me know down in the comment section below using hashtag question of the day. As always, if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode. Hope everybody is doing well. My mouse is freaking out. Anyways, today we're going to we got a lot planned for today, guys. We're going to be working on the ravine a ton. We're going to try to finish up the villager farms today, hopefully. And first off, we got to do diamond of the day, though. So let's grab our diamonds from yesterday. Oh, you know what? I know why I'm lagging. It all makes sense. So I've, I've come to the realization of something really bad, actually. So I typically have Netflix open when I uh, when I record just on the other screen and I'm not I don't like listen to it or play it while I'm recording, but it's just there when I am not recording uh, Minecraft or just in general, because right now my FPS is, you know, it's typically locked at 60 FPS. Um, I get upwards of 400 to 500 FPS, right? And so with that being said, as soon as I turn Netflix on, I drop to under 50. That is crazy. Netflix has got some kind of voodoo magic that makes my frame go like just go crazy. So I'm not really sure what's going on. So if I'm like lagging, I'm like, oh, crap, I've got Netflix open. And as soon as I close Netflix, everything is like completely fine. It's nuts. I don't know what's going on with it, but I've got a full episode plan for you guys. Say, man, it's going to be a good one. We go have some fun today. There we go. Ooh, we might actually hit two stacks if we can clutch up some 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 fives. OK, so 64 and 46. That's bizarre. That's a <laughs> that's 110, though. So we got 110 diamonds. So let me go ahead and grab a name for the diamond of the day. So got my diamond Let's, oh, every time, every time. So congratulations, Crimtonium, for last episode. So this episode's winner of the diamond of the day is coolest and not spelled like that. Coolest Hokage. Don't know. Ask. Don't know. But congratulations, coolest Hokage. You are the winner. There we go. Fantastic. So before we do anything, I am running low on rockets. Uh, we're going to run over to the markets real fast. I'm going to grab some rockets. All right, guys, one last thing before we get into the video. Just want to check out our shops real fast and go buy some more rockets because, you know, we run out of those rockets so, so fast, man. So anything sold from here or here? Nope, nothing, nothing there. Um, the redstone shop is probably not sold anything either. Up the stairs we go. Almost probably should buy some golden carrots soon, too. So let's check the redstone shop. Okay. Uh, nothing there. And finally, grab some rockets here. So let's see. Um, uh, it's uh, two stacks for a diamond. So this is four diamonds. Eight diamonds. Twelve diamond or... Yeah, right? So two, 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 two. And finally, uh, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera, but I wanted to show you that I have um, not been able to fly. <laughs> I just want to fly. I just want to fly, man. I restocked the iron shop a little bit. So there's a little bit in there, and then I've got a decent amount of iron in here, too. I'm going to smelt all that over at the smelter, and I'm going to get that all restocked, and then I'll let the server know that the server that shop has been restocked. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on, guys. All right, guys, so it's time to make this thing an oasis. It's going to look amazing when we're finished. So I just finished up with all of the walls. Down here at the very end, I um, kind of cut it off because you remember it went all the way to the back. Cut it off. Added some uh, seagrass and then kind of just made it look kind of rough at the end because the other side looked about the same. So what we're going to do to start off is we need to grab a block. We're going to go over to um, our conduit power and we're actually going to turn the conduit power off for just a minute 
Main reason for this is so we can get a good dark vision of undergrounds. This is going to help us put our um, our pickles in so we know exactly where all the lighting is. There we go. Because we even though it's going to be underground, we still want appropriate lighting. So we'll grab this really fast. Come to Jiv. There we go. So conduit power will eventually wear off. Um, maybe? Zero? Uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So now we can kind of go through and add some uh, different styles of pickle. So let's do like two. Oh, there must be dolphins. Yeah, there's like two there. Let's go three there. Kind of one there. Actually, let's do two right there. We want to make sure that the ambient lighting is kind of spread out. We don't want it to be too bright. Now, remember, we are going to have conduit power down here. But if somebody without the power happens to come down here for some reason. Like that. Man, that looks really good. Can you put pickles on walls? You cannot. Okay. I really, really like the way that that looks. We, you know what? Condo of power may not make it, may not make it down here. I don't know. After seeing this, this looks amazing. Okay. <clears throat> so here. Oh, come on game. Work with me here. There we go. And then let's do like, let's do a real big cluster right there. Okay. Let me go up and grab some air really fast because we's about to drown. All right, so grab our air back. So let's see, we've got um, got them all the way through there. So we'll just make it kind of go up the hill there a little bit. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. All right, so put like two right there. And I think as we get up the hill here, we're just going to kind of do two. Then like two, one there, one there. Kind of keep it a little bit darker up there. So I really, really like the way that that looks, right? So now that we have that, I want to go back through and do our coral. So I have coral in one of these shocker boxes. Let's grab all this. I've also got some dead coral. I've got an idea for that. Uh, I think I should have more in one of these. Thought I did. Maybe not. Anyways, so what I want to do now is because obviously I'm going to probably cut this part out for now. Uh, it's going to take me a minute to build all these corals back. So let's put this back in. Remove that. All I want to do now is I just want to pick some spots and we kind of got to decide, do we want to use all the colors again or do we want to just use colors that are going to pop? I don't want to use yellow, obviously. I think just these. But this time when we do our coral, oh, slow, slow down, slow down. We're going to start at the top and we're just going to build our way down. So the corals are going to be a little bit bigger than normal. So let's go like maybe one right here. So this is going to be where the placements of these corals are going to go. And then we'll switch to a color. Go random. Kind of like right there. Let's put one like all the way down here. Whoa, something like that. Got to make sure that they're nice and spread out too, right? So let's do like a blue one. Right here. Blue one down here. So you kind of get the idea of what I'm going for here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start building these and I will come back to you guys. All right, guys, I think you are really going to like this ravine. So my secret power or my secret plan was to have it kind of be like a diamond oasis ravine. So what I did was is I purchased some dead coral and just kind of stationed some blocks throughout. Right. I think this third block here might be a little bit much. Let's put a dead coral on top of that. And then I have like dead coral in the ground. I may actually remove this dead coral. I don't think I like it here. Um, but otherwise, this thing turned out just spectacular. Uh, we've got like it just kind of shines throughout. So not only do we have the seagrass on the walls and kind of gives it just a, that little extra feeling. I think it turned out really, really well. Now, um, I was thinking, like, is there anything I just like? I just like, and it's not. There really isn't anything that I dislike because when I was thinking about building this, um, the only thing that I had really thought about was how did I want it to really look, and this is exactly how I wanted it to look. This is gonna be like our diamond, like our diamond oasis or something like that. It's gonna be so freaking cool, man. So we're pretty much ready to build now. There's one thing I want to talk about real fast. Let's remove conduit power really quickly. I need your advice, guys. In the comment section below, I'm going to ask you a question, right? I want to know. 
do we keep conduit power or do we remove it and so you've already seen what it looks like with regular conduit power we're going to remove it and you'll see the night vision and you'll see why i'm asking because it's kind of crazy cool looking Get rid of all that okay fantastic where did my other block go oh it's in my inventory so just keep this here just in case okay look at it doesn't it just look amazing the diamonds are just popping like crazy you know what though you know what else we should do anywhere we have diamonds let's just go ahead and throw a little bit more sea pickle in there just to make it pop even more right oh god this looks so good i love this thing this is like probably one of my favorite projects right now yeah so the diamonds just kind of shine and not only that we have just like little ambient lighting throughout this entire thing this looks really good so down in the comment section below keep conduit power remove conduit power what do you think let me know in the comment section uh we are gonna go ahead and move on though okay guys so i've been working on the finishing touches of the farm so what i've done so far is get all the hoppers for this basin so this is the left side um so let's go ahead and get this all set up and working now i think i'm gonna need to go upstairs i want to make sure that our villagers are actually breeding before we start doing all this work so let's check that out really quickly do we oh we have a baby we actually have uh oh a farmer baby that's really good actually um one thing i need to quickly quickly check i don't know if i'll be able to see it from in here or not i think he's standing on glowstone in there so I'm going to grab some glowstone if I oh I have plenty. There we go. Fantastic. So let's get started. The only things we really need to do are to build the platform in which the, the villagers are standing on. So a little bit of stone brick. There we go. So that sits there in the corners in the middle. And then we have the four hoppers uh, going downwards. But we need to actually run the hoppers this way first. So we'll run. Oh, I got to go down one. Sorry. Well, that hopper's gone forever. <laughs> Want to go downstairs and grab it. So run this all the way over. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Perfect. So now we need to put one here, put one here, here, there. OK, so that takes care of that. And then we just need one on this side. And then here, 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 here. And then let's grab our carpet. So carpet sits on top of that. Fantastic. So now grab some dirt and fill that in. Let's fill all of this in. Get this all buttoned up and looking nice. And stone brick over here. Okay, so that's pretty much all good to go. Fill this back in. And then we just need to make it to where the villager sits inside of here right there so too high there we go too high too high and then i am going to switch the slabs over on the ceilings off camera but we have this here and then this goes all the way around i like it like this a little bit better than the one upstairs i think i think the one upstairs is too tall I am not a fan of the way that that looks. Hold the phone. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to eventually fix that because I, I definitely do not like that. OK, so this one, besides the hoeing and all the crops and stuff, is finished. Let's go downstairs. The down. I thought I got it all. You never know, man. You never know. Did I miss anything else? Wow, I missed another one right here, too. <laughs> good lord man is what is this amateur hour good luck good god there we go so downstairs we go this one's even easier right so i chose this one to be the back one on purpose because look at how close it is right it's just right there so this one's going to be a little bit different than what we would typically do let's grab our hoppers there we go fantastic so let's go upstairs i need to clean all this up too all right 
So we'll have, let's see, how do we want to do this? This one's going to be a little bit different. I think we're just going to go directly into like that. And then I see, I wanted to, to filter through. I think I'm going to have to do it a little bit different. Let's put a block right here. There, 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 and then have it come in from there. Yeah, that'll probably be the easiest way to handle that. Okay. And then talk about wasting those hoppers. That's probably going to be our best bet, I think. There we go. Then grab our carpet. Stone brick, stone brick, stone brick. Um, glowstone, and then our fences, too tall. I may even redo those hoppers a few times. I'm not sure. Uh, probably not, honestly. <laughs> there we go. So now that I've got that all finished, all of the lines are good to go. Although we wasted a ton of hoppers here. It's all good, I think. I think that'll probably work out. Let me remove these just to see how I... Yeah, you know what? I'll keep it like that. I think it'll be fine. So now that that's all good to go, um, I'm going to get everything kind of cleaned up and uh, change over all the ceilings and try to see if um, try to see if we're good on start moving villagers down, possibly. All right, guys, this villager makes it the last villager. I got tired of waiting for them to breed. Looks like they did breed, but it was a purple coat. Perfect. So it doesn't matter. All right, so we got to take this guy downstairs and then get all of the villagers. Bastard. All the villagers in the positions. So if you come down the stairs here, I've already got one villager in there. He's sitting right there. Keep going. Down the hill we go. So into this guy right here. Oh, no, his god died. Oh, I'm in the floor. Yep, that's how that happens. I really just straight up glitched through the floor. <laughs> oh my god. All right. That right there. That I can't. Ugh. I'm stuck. Hold on. Time out on the field. Okay. Let's fix this. I'll have to probably fix underneath too. There we go. Let me just scoot this out of the way real fast. Ugh. What's going on? Okay. There we go. So let's get this out of the way. Break. Darn it. <laughs> Break that. He's probably mad at me now. Alright, so I gotta push this guy into here. So how did I get the other villagers in? Very, very simple process of breaking the floor and pushing them through. <laughs> Literally, that's all I did. Okay, taken care of. So now we have a villager for the farms there. So now we need to come up here. Break this. That there. Um, so let's see. One of these needs to go downstairs. Let's kind of get this guy out of the way here, right? There we go. Uh, so I think something happened. I don't know. So down down there we go villager is now in the farm good to go there we go perfect so now we have an extra villager up here i'm probably gonna kill this baby there we go so now we need to break this same with that one i think i lost that hopper for good you, sir, need to get pushed into your pin. Your final resting place. We already got the guy over there picking up everything, all the good stuff. There we go. All right, so he is pretty much in there and being annoying. Put that there. Uh, let me go grab some stuff real fast. It's probably going to move. Uh, do I have any other hoppers? I probably, I'm probably gonna have to run downstairs. 
Ugh. All right, let's go downstairs and grab the hoppers. Sorry, guys. I thought I had this all taken care of. I probably shouldn't have put the hoppers in right away. There we go. So that one would be this one. Or did it not go down all the way? Maybe I disconnected them. I don't know. Anyways, let's get the uh, the villagers into their final spots, and then I'll just come back through and finish the hoppers later. Okay. So, yeah, we need to get him in there, and then we'll just block him off. So, you, sir, need to go over here. So, I'll push you into there. Oh, Grian must have pranked Disco. There we go. Fantastic. So that guy is now officially stuck. Good to go. So that farm is pretty much finished. Once I find my hopper. I think it's... Is it over here? I don't know if this is connected or not right now. Aha. That's what I'm looking for. That right there. Uh... I guess they don't know that I'm recording. Okay. Again, we'll fix this real fast. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Hopper. Carpet. This farm is finished. Fantastic. Dunzos. Now, down to the next one. Oh, no, you don't. So we need to get him in there. This one goes over to this side. So what I need to do is I need to put it, gotta find it first. There we go. Break that so we don't have that same issue. There we go. I found that the babies are a little bit harder to move. Like, they just, like, continuously roam almost. Makes it super, super hard to get him to go anywhere. See what I'm saying? He's just, like, he's, like, impossible to move. Can I get a boat in here? Might try that instead if that doesn't work. You get your tushy in there. See what I'm saying? So hard to move. Okay. But uh, other than that, I mean, we just need to get him in there. He's going to be a complete pain in the butt. Need you to move, villager. There we go. So, of course. Did he get in there? I don't know where he went. Oh, he's standing inside of him. Okay. Inside you go. Hopper, hopper. And he jumped out. Of course he did. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, I think. Uh, oh, that's gone. But um, I think that's probably going to do it for the video. I wanted to get them all in there, but with them being babies, I may have to wait for them to grow up first. Same with downstairs because of how the babies move and stuff. But th I would consider this farm a finished product. Uh, it took a while to get to where we are now, but I think it was totally worth it in the end. Um, yeah, so we should be able to at least finish this one too then. So yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. I need to remove the lights so they're not breeding anymore. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove those doors. But uh, yeah, this is going to do it for today's video. I've said that like six times already. Um, anyway, so have a great day, guys. This is iJevin. Peace out.